how the circuit works. Whenever I connect my jumper wire to ground, I have a zero on the input and on the output I get one. The LED is on. So if I do the opposite, what would happen? I connect my jumper wire to power. I get a one or high on the input, but on the output I get a zero. And because of that, the LED is off. So watch this video to learn how the inverter logic gate works. These are the components for this project. I'm using a breadboard, jumper wire, LED, BC547 NPN transistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 220 ohm resistor to limit the current across the LED, and 100 ohm resistor. I'm gonna power the circuit using 5 volts. Let's place our transistor to the breadboard, our NPN transistor, and connect the emitter pin of the transistor to ground. Now let's grab our 1 kilo ohm resistor and connect it to the base of the transistor and a blank spot on breadboard. Connect the 100 ohm resistor to the collector pin of the transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard. The other end of the resistor we are going to connect it to the power pin of the breadboard. Let us connect the 330 ohm resistor to the collector pin of the transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard. Now connect the anode pin of the LED, which is the longer pin, to the other end of the resistor and to ground. So anode is connected to the collector pin of the transistor and cathode is connected to ground. Now let's grab a jumper wire and connect it to the 1 kilo ohm resistor. The under end of the jumper wire remains uh, unconnected. And let's connect our 5 volt supply to the breadboard. So I'm going to connect the jumper wire to ground, indicating a zero on the input. And as you can see, we get a 1 on the output. The LED indicates that we get a 1 or high at the output. Now if I do the opposite, I connect my jumper wire to power. In this case, we get a 1 on the input and on output we get a 0. The LED is off. When we have a 0 on the input, let's try it again. In this case, there is no current flowing through the resistor and into the base of the transistor and it means that the transistor is in its off state. In this case, the transistor acts as an open switch between its collector and emitter. An open switch, it means that there is a high resistance between collector and emitter. Therefore, current prefers to flow or travel to the collector pin of the transistor through this resistor and finally to the LED and it makes the LED to turn but in the opposite when we have a high in the input there is enough current flowing through this base resistor and it reaches the base of the transistor and makes the transistor on in this case the transistor acts as a closed switch between its collector and emitter and in, in this case since there is a low resistance between collector emitter junction, current prefers to travel through the collector and to the emitter. And since the emitter is connected to ground, and because of that, the red LED remains off. So that was the whole idea with inverter logic gate using a transistor and bunch of resistors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, Please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a good day.